the best way in the world to clean your soldering iron. Look at this thing. It's disgusting. Filthy, filthy whore. Looks similar. Yeah, similar enough to those fancy pants. China balls. Look at that. Nice and clean and pretty with a focus. There we go. Like that. Perfect. This tip is old as sin. Months. I've used this and I desolder a lot. Uh, the first month that I had my electronic fancy pants soldering station, I went through tips like you would not believe. It. And then I started to use this instead of this crusty, nasty ass sponge. This was probably the fourth or fifth sponge that I used. But I kept hating how it would get those little fucking balls. Little goddamn balls that wouldn't get off of my soldering iron. So I eventually abandoned that. What did I get? Well, I went to the dollar store or the pound shop or pound land or whatever you want to call it, wherever the fuck you're at in the world. And I got some of these copper scrub brushes is pretty much the same exact thing that goes in the $4 kit thingy that you can buy from uh, the good Chinaman on eBay. Anyways, put it in there. It won't do shit. What you need is this. Now, if I can open it, because it's slicker than shit from having flux on it. That's why we need to have this. Take it, scrunch it out. I mean, you can see I've used this quite well. It takes a while. Hell, I could even be using that side still. Um, the bits of solder that get caught in the copper mesh, it, it doesn't really do much harm at all. I just like having a nice, pretty little spot to plow my spear into, you know? I just put a little dab. That's it. Tiny little dab. And then I scrunch it in the middle and give it hell. Yeah. There we go. Perfect. And then I kind of ram it back into shape. And get it looking moderately okay. And then I shove it in here. And why am I using a beaker, you ask? Because I had it handy. And it's pretty well resistant to thermal stress so yeah that's pretty much it bada bing bada boom just enough flux to clean the tip whenever you need it and that's it another thing the last thing the cheap shitty solder wick that you get also from the Chinaman it sucks like this M fucking possible to use period if you can get it to wick solder like this you're a much better man than me um i pretty much went through a whole fucking roll getting pissed off before i was dicking around and I found out all you gotta do is this scrunch it just scrunch it that's it scrunch 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 Scrunch, scrunch, scrunch. Does it get annoying? Yeah, it, it kind of does. But if you have a four or five year old, they they love helping. They love it. So let them get their scrunch on. And just wiggle it back and forth. Wiggle it back and forth so the copper isn't as tight. Now, I don't know if this actually has flux on it or not. If it does, it sucks. So, after I got a good distance done, I mean, I do more than what I need just to get those little things. I hate when people use their middle finger at a point and I just did it like a dickhead. Ugh, I bitch about that all the time. And here I am, one of those fucking assholes. So, scrunch, scrunch, scrunch some more. Keep going. 
go until uh, you're tired of it, and I am. Let me just take the end, a little dab will do you, and pull. That's it. There's no other great grand secret. Pretty simple. And pop it open. Roll it back in, except for the tip. And there you go. After you put solder or the flux on it, excuse me, and uh, you pull it through the weave, you're gonna have to give it a little bit of scrunch again. But that's that goes along with it anyways. Even if you didn't put the flux on it, you would still need to because this is gonna pull it back together whenever you're uh, actually rolling it in there. And then, as if a great gift from God, all you have to do. Just barely roll it on there. And oh my god, it's amazing. It's amazing. It's actually really hard to solder through a camera. But yeah, that's it. If you try to do that with that solid strand shit before, it would be fucking impossible. And it works really, really well. I don't think I've ever had to do... I mean, a whole bunch of work to try to get a part out after I've initially wicked it anyways. I suppose I should turn my soldering iron tip up. Usually when I desolder, I don't use fine tips like this either. Anyways, yeah, that's not the point of this. Uh, it was just to show you that for if I die of eye cancer or get hit by a bus, maybe struck by lightning, I don't know. Hopefully I die somewhere cool. Um... There will be someone to share my story, to share my knowledge. That is all.